always shooting content. Right? Yeah. Always be shooting is what it always should be. Always shooting and never posting. Mmm. Mm. That's terrible. Ran out of captions, never out of fits, though. I don't even think I have captions. That's why I said you ran out of captions. Okay. Washington DC. Hope everybody had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Where are you going? Um, we are in Washington DC for a little post holiday chill vacay time away before you know everything in the new year starts getting crazy and we don't have time for ourselves. I start traveling for work at the end of January and um, I just don't have a lot of time left to do leisurely things because um, the year is already planned out pretty extensively. But um, happy to be back here with you guys. I hope everybody had a wonderful holiday and um, we are here at the Conrad in Washington DC and it is really nice um, the room we have what is this room King suite okay we have a king suite here at the Conrad and um, has a nice little seating area couch with a little chair and a little ottoman um, nice bathroom king size bed and a little like desk area back there um they have Byredo products in the bathroom which is really really nice particularly mojave ghost which is one of my favorite Byredo scents so i don't know that i'll be even taking out my um body wash because i'll probably use that um they have the body wash shower gel i mean body wash hair conditioner hair shampoo lotion and bar soap so that's pretty neat and um we got here we went to a place called honeymoon chicken it was really good the food was nicely prepared um i was very very surprised for it to be such like a small little spot but it was really good um you co go in we sat at the bar and you kind of sit at these tables and you scan the QR code and you place your order on toast I think that's the the website toast and then they um, bring it out to you you can order all of your food at food at one time or you can um, continuously add to your check and they'll bring it out as you order it but both Keyshawn and I got three um, jumbo chicken wings um, I got mine with the signature hot honey sauce and he got his with the dusting of seasonings and he got the Brussels sprouts and I just got like potato wedges that were okay but the Brussels sprouts were really good 
And then um, we tried the pecan hand pies that were delicious. He didn't even think that he was gonna like his, but he actually ended up enjoying it. It's kind of remind me of like an empanada, but it was a dessert style. Um, it was really good. They had apple also, but I just we just got two pecan ones. And then for drinks, we just got water. And then they had this hot honeymoon margarita. We got that. It was really thick margarita. It was spicy. It was good. But um, that's all we got there. And then we came back, well, came and checked into the hotel and um, went to the bar. I got an espresso martini. He got a little Casamigos and pineapple. But now we're in the room and we're getting ready to head out for um, the night. So I just wanted to come on and give you guys a little update of what we've been doing so far. And I will check back in with you before we leave, hopefully. Maybe. Hopefully. The high, the low is a probability. Yeah, hopefully. Um, hopefully. I don't know what's, what's my hair doing right now? It's just the way that I'm sitting. But I'm wearing this cute little um, Fear of God Essentials like zip up. It's kind of like tight at the waist it's cute and then just a pair of jeans and i wore some golden goose sneakers for traveling because we took a road trip up here from virginia um so yeah we left our kids with Keyshawn's mom so we're kid free I'm ready to have a good time so we will check back in with you guys in a little bit I can show you guys what's in the closet. Let me show you. Oh, here's all the fragrances. You can barely see, but I brought all of I just got this one for Christmas. Um, I brought all these. I got that for Christmas too. And I brought two of the Mind Games fragrances here and here talked about those and YouTube shorts um, the new Kayali and Ball de Freak so and I do have this um, holiday edition Fenty butter drop so that's that and then in the closet I just brought like a few things so let's see so i have this little bomber jacket i brought my attico jeans because i'll probably wear that when we go shopping one day i'm still trying to wear this i have yet to wear it but hopefully it'll be worn soon tonight i'm gonna wear this little um leather trench coat with that zara leather dress that i got in vegas and I still want to wear this. I, I talked about this in the last video, but I just got this. Um, well, I didn't just get it, but I got it. And um, I have not worn it yet. So hopefully I can wear it here. And then I have this Sergio Hudson um, purple overcoat. And then this is the um, and other stories little blazer and then I have it paired with this I mean it's giving real Amish or something real long but it, there's a um that's a horrible shot but anyway there's a black uh long maxi length skirt underneath there and then I thought maybe this would be really fun for like New Year's um, photo we won't be here on New Year's but by the time this video goes up it will probably be 2023 so I thought this would be cute just to take a, a fun um, picture and then just my little puffer jacket and my little Fendi wrap so yeah and then I just got a couple of sneakers those are the golden goose I had on this morning and then I have my new little Jordans up there that I'm gonna wear with my Attico jeans. And then I bought three other handbags in addition to my um, Gucci 
Not Gucci. What is that? Balenciaga. But yeah, here's a better look of my little travel situation. Um, yeah, but I'm about to get ready here in a little bit. This camera is so huge. Oh. But it is big. Um, yeah. But I'm gonna get ready here in a little bit to go and fix my makeup up and get refreshed for tonight. And I'll see you when I get dressed. <laughs> to tell you guys what I'm wearing. I'm wearing this Zara red dress and a vintage red leather trench. Um, these are Sergio Hudson Target collab gloves and my little wallet on chain and my shoes. If you could pan to my shoes. Shoes. These are um, Mock and Mock that I recently got from Nordstrom. So that's the look and we are headed out. I kind of want to show you guys Keyshawn, so let me show you. All right, what you got on? What you um, got? I have on this amazing red jacket with uh, my Christmas gifts. Um, I think the entire outfit is from Zara, um, but you know, I make it look good. So uh, we are headed to AR Techno, uh, which is a augmented reality holiday experience that we're going to go to together and have some drinks. And then we've got a dinner date planned for the rest of the evening. So look forward to more outtakes from Tequila Crystal. <laughs> Tequila Crystal. Mm Excuse me, ma'am. What are you doing? Um, checking my email. Hmm. Anything riveting in there? Have a shoot on. Get out of the mail. <laughs> Have a shoot on the seventeenth. <laughs>
just had to get in my video. Somebody left some food outside of our room. We had to call the people to come and retrieve it because it was giving um, not the right vibes. It was just smelling bad. Um, but anyway, we had a good time down at the, what is it called? Estuary? Estuary. 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 Bar. Estuary bar. Downstairs, the young man at the bar, the bartender, I don't know his name, but he made me a specialty drink from his own specialty mind. It was nice. It wasn't really groundbreaking, but it was refreshing. Decided to give the young man a opportunity to do um, his bartending thing. And it was fine. Um... Highlights of the night post our dinner. But when we came back to the hotel, we were sitting at the bar. When we first got to the bar, the young man in, that I was previously mentioning, mentioning the bartender, he carded us, Keyshawn and I, okay? And Keyshawn, can you just come to the I don't video. want to. I talk in the back. I'll be in the background. No, voice. can you just? I'll please. say that he said. No, but listen. Look, I just it. hold on. For the record, I am older than Keyshawn by a couple of months, <laughs> and um, the young man at the bar decided that he was going to card both of us because he didn't want to card the young lady by herself, meaning that. He thought that Keyshawn was my sugar daddy. <laughs> because, not yes, it does because Keyshawn has gray in his beard, which definitely gives it away, and he has no hair on his head. If you have no hair on your that. head, they don't know that at all. They've never seen me. Well, some people may not remember oh, okay. what you look like. First time buyers. Buyers. I mean viewers. First time viewers. But anyway. I thought that was so funny because, yeah, I'm definitely older than him. But anyway, the that was funny. Night. And then the next thing was <laughs> Keyshawn trying to pretend like he was on death row looking like Suge Knight with that um, turtleneck and that ring. I was Suge Knight. He, he just needed a chain or Shug two. Knight. He just needed two chains around his neck. Don't do that. <laughs> Well, I said we were given Suge Knight and Carmen San Diego tonight. Okay, okay. The next thing was some guy, I guess, from the hotel coming up to me as I was reviewing footage on this here camera, which is the Sony FX30, um, which is our new camera that we just got recently, and it is not technically a vlogging camera um and the guy came up to me at the bar and said unfortunately i'm sorry i have to be the bearer of bad news but you can't um film in here or whatever do professional photography blah blah blah, blah whatever but i wasn't even really doing anything i was just looking at stuff that we had taken you know along the the way the day or whatever I was just reviewing what we had on the camera. But what I found odd in this whole like vlogging and videography journey that we're at the Conrad in the bar and there were all of like maybe 10 other people there. 
and this guy popped up out of nowhere talking about, hey, you can't film in here. I'm like, where did you even come from? Why are you even watching us? This is not Delilah in Vegas. You don't have any celebrities. I don't get it. Do you get it? Do you get it? No, I don't get it. What is your take on it? You clearly have another well, take because I mean, you paused. <laughs> my only take is that maybe it's congressmen in Washington, D.C. that be out here when they, why? I mean, they mistresses. Yeah, why? Mm-hmm. I mean, mistress. I mean, uh, 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 uh. Don't yeah. be out here sneaking and creeping. <laughs> And I mean, I understand you want to protect the integrity of your guest, but <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, if, if the congressman is out here being a little fat, he gonna take it to a nice hotel. We have, nice but you are, you allow. Okay, you come up to me and you say you don't allow professional photography or videography, There's... but you do allow iPhone only. But there are pictures, motion pictures, videos, um, Sundance Film Festival, fo- you know. There are no Sundance films that are recorded. I'm pretty iPhone. sure there are there some. Are no, I mean, some, but no, they okay. didn't win. They didn't, didn't matter if they won or not. The fact is that the iPhone is fully capable of shooting a full feature five minute movie. Welcome to our tech blog. Today we're reviewing the saying. iPhone 14 and the Sony FX30. I'm just saying. They're the quality may be different, but the fact of the matter is it still does the same thing. And that's what we're talking about here. Both cameras are going to capture the same footage. It's just going to capture it differently. And for that, I don't understand what's the difference between filming on an iPhone or a professional camera in this type of setting. But whatever. I still filmed, so it doesn't matter. But right now, we are just going to chill out and um, get ready for bed. No room service tonight. And um, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Say goodnight, Kevin. Uh, (laughs) Goodnight. started and totally I forgot to pick up the camera but um, we are at lunch right now and we are at Ambar or Ambar I can't I don't know how to pronounce it it's involved with me so it's like basically all you can eat but um we're here I'm gonna eat a little bit I'll show you the little thing so we are here um so yeah Oh, and I do want to show you guys my son. They got something coming right now. I was trying to tell y'all about my sunglasses that I just got from the Black Dog business. Um, and I really, really like them. They really cool. The packaging was really, really nice. Um, so, found you guys a new black sunwear. Eyewear designer. New black eyewear designer. I like it. to the Apple store that I think was formerly a library. I uh, have to pick up a few SSD cards already. I think I fixed for that. 
Okay, we're back because somebody didn't just trust it had already set the camera. So we're headed to the Apple store to pick up uh, hopefully an SSD or a hard drive. Okay, and now she keeps interrupting my spot, but don't let interrupt her when she talking. So we're crossing the street now. This guy doesn't want to stop. And if you didn't know, that was Tory Lanez that just passed us. <laughs> so what's so special about this Apple Store? I think it used to be like the Library of Congress, the Congress Library or something. But I just want to go in there. It was a part of my life where I wanted to go to every Apple store in the country that was like a unique location. So this is one of those. Sweet. Oh, it's called the... Is that the Carnegie Library? Yeah. And now we're crossing the street again. So we just finished shopping at the Apple store. Somebody tried to take some videos of me, but they didn't have it in the right mode. So they might not get added to this. What? So next, what do you mean? What? What so mode? next we're headed to city center to do some shopping. Hopefully maybe Crystal buy her sixth cologne for the holidays. Press much? No, I just love perfume. finished having drinks at Fig and Olive. Drinks and truffle fries. Took about 30 minutes to get one drink. <laughs> another 30 to get another drink. Damn, that was good. And I wasn't going to tip, but my wife like makes me feel bad when I don't want to tip, so I tipped. I mean, he definitely was not paying attention. He was so happy to service his friend that came to see him, which is fine. And we weren't in a hurry. We were. So. Um, now. But I'm on vacation. I want to be treated as such. Well, people don't know what you're doing. But they should still treat you. Give me a left lane. Give me a left lane. I'm not getting my left lane. They need to. We're turning left. left. I pray for you, bro. That's all I can do. You little brats behind us. See, that's why your videos be so hard to edit. Because I gotta find stuff you can't say. <sighs> <sighs> it's funny for you. Anywho, um, you guys, I'm gonna try to find some shopping to get into. We went to Dior and it was freaking 88 degrees, 88 degrees in there, so I had to leave because <laughs> I was gonna melt. <laughs> you know, everything in there is wool. So it was just making me hot. So, going where I know the air conditioner will be on. Sephora. Hello? It's a long It's four minutes. Four minutes. Come on. Whoa. Bus about to run us over. Um, but yeah, did you enjoy your New York sour? I did. They were good? Oh, it's Chinatown over there. Sure. Some chicken. Come on there. Mike. I'm doing that. Come on. So we'll grab her back there. This camera is so heavy. Whoa. What kind of camera is this? The Sony A. No, it's not an A. Sony E. No, it's not an E. Sony Z. No, it's not a Z. 
What the hell? <laughs> this is a Come Sony in. FX30. Oh, Sony FX30. Oh, it's right there too. Cinema line. This is definitely a professional camera. That's what they're gonna kick you out the restaurant last night. <laughs> no professional video. Going down the oh, look at that baby. Alright y'all, we'll pick you back up in a minute. how cold it is outside that's ice ice who's cold guys I fell I started my period and I did not feel like changing my outfits the only thing I did was change my coat I put on my heavy coat, the biggest thing that I had to cover up everything because I'm bloated. And you just don't feel like it. But we had a wonderful time at um, Illili restaurant. And I'll try to pop in some footage of that, but it was really good. So yeah, right now we're at Cantina Bambina. And I'm um, gonna get dressed, grab some drinks, and enjoy the evening. It's really cold outside, so I'm actually glad that I did change my jacket. Um, I took some my doll, which I haven't taken my doll years, but I needed it to love That shit came and hit me like a ton of bricks. All I wanted to do was lay in the room and go to sleep. But, um, I was able to get myself together and get out so we can enjoy ourselves and I feel better. Full stomach, medicine in me, and we're ready to roll. I have to show y'all too, Sean. He's just dancing at the bar. Trying to be cool. He ain't cool. <laughs> he was looking at me like, what you doing? You know what I'm doing. I'm talking to the camera. Talking to y'all. Look, here you go. Do your drink smell? Tequila. Oh, it smells spicy. It's tequila. What is it? Tequila. Margarita, right? Tequila. Is it good? Yeah. It's good right on this this heater. Yeah. I can't believe it's like frozen out there. I feel like cool. Okay. Is it a spicy? It is spicy. It's jalapeno. Strawberry? Yep. Oh. <laughs> oh, you are so dramatic, bro. It's not that bad. 
Y'all gonna think it's a light rate. What you just saw? What you just saw? Oh, now you don't want to snitch. I don't know his name. Michael from the Real Housewives of Potomac. Ashley's husband from ex husband. Ex husband from Real Housewives of Potomac. Now he was out here with these hoes. With, out here. You got something to say? Did you. What is this? Reposado? Yeah. So they wanted to the support in there. <laughs> huh? I don't know, bro. <laughs> Let me see. I like, baby, if you spill that shit, it was fifty five dollars for this too. Casamigos is expensive in DC. Damn, it should be fifteen dollars in Charlotte. Mm, what you want me to do? Take this out and then pour it in? Put it in the other one. No, because then it's not gonna get cold. <laughs> well, it ain't gonna get cold if you. Just, it's the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> he said he gonna bring us a. Just leave it in there. He gonna no, bring us a pineapple juice right. in three minutes. Bro, you about to fuck up the vibe. Let me see this. Hello. 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 We just left the park at 14th, which is a. You are I not believe, putting that on the YouTube. Why? I just I did it on the Vegas vlog. Not like okay. I did. Okay. Didn't you do it? I don't know. You did. Nah. Excuse me. Yeah, we're bleeping that out too. We can bleep it out. It's, bleep. it's normal. It's an, a normal human activity to burp. Okay. You think you're sleepy because she be on and you be burping. That's your calling card. But anyway, so we went to the park at 14th. Well, the park at 14th. That's the same thing. <laughs> Let me look because I was just on their Instagram account, actually. The, the park at 14th. All right. We are here. That is where we were. And we ordered only two shots. No, two shots, right? Yeah. Basically. Not basically, literally. <laughs> literally, two shots of Casamigos, Reposado, and pineapple juice. That's it. And Keyshawn said it was $60. Now, we're not complaining about how much it costs. But. Shit, if we ain't. We're not complaining about how much it costs, but we're just talking about how much it costs. Because if I was at home, that would be Charlotte, $25. That, that's a lot of money. Like, what makes it so much more expensive in D.C. that, it, you know, it's like less expensive in Charlotte because the math ain't mathing and it's just not adding up. And here we are with the room service version. And this version, I just tried to do the same thing and you told me not to do it. Uh oh, that means they're here with the pineapple juice because they forgot it the first time. Thank you, sir. Great night, man. Thank you. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Oh, wow. Look at that. Pineapple juice. Oh, uh uh. I'll get this off the bed. Just because you don't know how to pour shit don't mean I don't. You going to pour more than one? You had a good run the first time. I did a good on my. See? Stop. We're doing the most, bro. So why to sit your ass down? What are you talking about? This is me, man. Just because you can't eyeball the work. 
I'm Jeezy to this alcohol game. Oh. Nice. How much was this? Fifty-two dollars. Damn, that's strong. <laughs> Get me out of here. <laughs>